Hello, gentlemen, and uh, here's with uh, another how do we how do you practice on my own? I uh, ended up starting to create little tools because I felt like uh, uh, some of the tools that uh, uh, Houdini gives us are good, but the combination of them are even better. So I'll give you an example. The break tool uh, gives a lot of issues, and uh, whenever you're using it, uh, there's a lot of information on top of it that uh, pretty much breaks the mesh in a way. Uh, and whenever I want to do cracks or anything like that, um, uh, it doesn't give me sometimes uh, some clean geometry. So what I did, I ended up creating this little tool right here called Line Cut. And this guy, uh, if you look at this mesh right now, um, I can hide the points itself. But basically, I'm able to go back into one of the lines right there that I cut it on. Um, I'm able to just say jitter seed and it's gonna like start like jittering and it's gonna start finding the groups that uh, I want them to exist or not. But you have to go in a way where it's uh, not like back and forth. So you gotta go, uh, in, you can go in a non-linear way if you wanna start doing cracks like that. I'll give you an example. So let's just say we have this guy, I'm gonna copy and paste this, or actually duplicate this. And I'm gonna put that on top of everything, right? Uh, I ended up creating a, 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 a rotator right here and everything. You're able to rotate whatever you want. But what you want, what you want to do is basically, let's just say I wanna select the face two right here, and press enter. And I have a transform uh, right here inside of the tool. Uh, if anyone knows how to actually bring that transform outside of the tool, I would be very, very glad um, to, to know that. So right now, you can see I'm only cutting through wherever that other face uh, that exists, right? I'm not doing anything else uh, around it. Um, and that makes uh, cutting through things much, much, much faster and easier um, than, uh, than other, the, the, the other tools. Um, if you actually come back to there, you're able to just uh, say, hey, uh, go to the point over there and let's just see. I want more resolution on those guys or less, like actually more resolution or less resolution. I want a little bit more decimation, so like straight or not, 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 not decimation at all. So have all the points and stuff like that. Uh, it's a much easier uh, approach to create cracks that are a little bit more artistic based than the Voronoi noise. Uh, the Voronoi noise, you, you pretty much have like, no, you have some control, but not enough in a way. Uh, and that makes, makes things a little bit uh, difficult to, uh, uh, to play around with. So right now, like it, let's duplicate this. Uh, let's go back to our transform and let's cut this guy. As you can see, you cannot, you cannot see anything, of course, because I didn't choose a group yet. So I have to go there, back there again, and just like, hey, I want this guy to exist. And, um, as you can see, I'm, I, I can create a little bit more realistic kind of cracks, uh, surrounding areas or this bridge that I'm actually making. Um, so it, it, if, if you're an artist and, and you really, uh, don't like the procedural method of more annoying noise, I would, uh, approach this, uh, method, uh, much better much easier, uh, a little bit more artistical uh, than just having um, um, the cracks done uh, uh, procedurally. And the control that you have it and the amount of uh, uh, power that you can have with this is just fantastic and um, much easier to play with. You're also able to create the length of it. So like you can see it cuts but it stops right there. Um, I, I would uh, notch 
I would, I would consider not doing that, guys, because it can create a lot of issues with your bullying. Um, uh, it's possible to uh, end up like creating a thing where it finalizes automatically by the closest point, and I can do a checkbox for that or anything like that. So I'm going to uh, be sharing this tool. It's an HDA file uh, really soon. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to share it, but uh, if any want to one wants to play with that uh I'll, I'll be glad to share with you guys just a a note uh i don't know if like whenever you're using uh Houdini professional which is the one i'm using if it will work on the printers version just a heads up so uh I'll, I'll i'll let you guys know as soon as i can where i can share this tool thank you so much bye bye